Hey, and welcome back. Today we're going to look at the Meerman Long Wings. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos. We discuss general shoe knowledge. We do worth the price videos as shoe reviews. And we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So today we're going to talk about Meerman. Uh, this is the 101375. This is on the Rui Last. This happens to be in Cognac Shell Cordovan, uh, which is actually um, an Italian Shell Cordovan. I thought it was going to be Shinky, but it's actually an Italian one. And uh, pretty excited about this shoe overall. Uh, this was an MTO uh, that they had, part of the regular GMTOs. Uh, I had JR Souls put on. Uh, and it's got a really cool storm welt. Um, as you look at this, I think that there's a couple things that you need to think about when you're looking at a long wing blucher. Uh, the first thing is how many pieces of leather are they using? Um, so for me, whether or not this piece and this piece, the vamp and the sides are actually the same piece can be a pretty significant difference. Obviously this is one piece. Uh, they almost all have a patch in the back so, but the long wing is one piece across the whole shoe. And then of course the, the bluchers are separate pieces as well. And then uh, the vamp piece and the tongue should be the same as well. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see that. And actually let me turn on a light here and see if that makes it a little bit easier to see. I'm trying to use natural light because shell actually reflects natural light a lot better than synthetic lights. But uh, since that doesn't seem to be working 100% well, I'll turn on the lights that I have and see whether or not that makes a difference. So as we, uh, as we look to this, what's exciting to me about Meerman is the fit and um, the overall uh, affordability of what can be very, very difficult materials to get. Uh, I had not seen Cognac Shell Cordovan anywhere else, um, and that by itself makes it kind of cool. The, um, the shell itself is not, uh, you know, does uh, have... Uh, a lot of movement. It has wrinkles here, which I wouldn't expect on a higher end shoe here as well, you know, but um, overall, um, I feel like it's it's pretty good. And it's a good example of a tier four shoe um, where they used a, uh, a really nice material in it. And the uh, the shoes are comfortable, which of course, at the end of the day is the most, uh, most important thing. A lot of people talk about the discomfort of the high break-in period for Meermans. I've never experienced that with the Derby, only with Oxfords. Uh, so I, um, you know, and for a shoe that's two hundred dollars and and roughly four hundred bucks in shell, um, you know, I think it's three hundred eighty. Um, it's a uh, it is a fantastic bargain. Uh, when you look at the uh, the finishing work that they do, it is rough, right? I mean, the edges aren't sanded beautifully. Um, there isn't uh, there isn't a a, a gouge there. Um, there is um, fudging, as you can see from the fudging. It's large scale fudging. It does hide the stitching well though, which is the point. Um, and they do it all the way around, and uh, it is clean, right? The uh, the stitch density, the welts. I mean, look at that welt joint. That is that is not a bad welt joint. And so, you know, a lot of the things that people will complain about, um, you know, I really don't necessarily see uh, with any of my Meermans. Now, my Meermans are first quality. You can get second quality out there, and so you, if you're looking on eBay, that can be something that you need to take a look at because. Uh, if they are second quality, it's very difficult to tell. And uh, you could get a second quality shoe thinking that you're paying, you know, full price for it. So uh, something to uh, definitely be be aware of. Now, um, so all in all, it's a really good shoe for the price. Um, the wear has been good. Um, as you can see, I've got some wear on them, not a ton, uh, but I did want to get the review out um, quickly. Uh, typical Miramin high end, they do the angled nails and uh, the finishing of the soles is always the same. So if you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. So as we do the comparison video here, um, it's important to note Meerman is a tier four shoe. Uh, Barker is a tier three shoe. Alden is a tier two shoe. This is an Allen Edmonds, that's a tier three shoe. And this is a TLB mainline, which is a tier four shoe. 
Now you'll notice that there's a big gap here. I don't have a tier one shoe, mostly because most of the tier one brands do not make a long wing. Uh, long wings were one of the primary uh, collection points for me early on in, in my collection, uh, but I moved away from them because they are hard to get. So um, that's just something that uh, is a reality that I've had to, to learn to live with. So, so we're going to uh, do some comparisons here. Two of the shoes are in Shell Cordovan, um, and uh, that's the reason that I have a uh, two tier three shoes. Um, I have one in Shell Cordovan and one in Calf. I uh, just want to point out their differences there. Um, and then um, the prototypical American gunboat is this Alden. This is the Alden 979. And so as you look at this, the shape here is very key into how this shoe is uh, is made. Um, so that, that is something that, uh, you know, is worthy of note um, as well. So... Um, Let's, uh, let's get started. So as we, uh, as we look at this, um, we talked about this being the same piece of material as this. Now, um, you can really tell based on the blue line right here, right? And you can see that there's a seam there. Now, does this make a difference to the shoe and how it works and how it functions? No, not really. I mean, it has a little bit of a different depth which you can kind of see, but not really. To me, this is just a mark of quality and um, it costs more to use bigger pieces of leather. <laughs> so here, this is another shell cordovan that uses the same piece. Now, if you look at these two side by side, the big difference that you have here is the shape of the blucher line. Uh, here, it's actually a little bit sharper um, to try to create that swan neck feel to it, um, where here it's more rounded. Now, not very rounded, but rounded. So that's a, uh, that's, that's a difference. Um, as you look at the rest of this, now this has a seam here, which is very different. Um, one of the names for long wing bluchers is a gunboat. And they use that name because this whole section looks like the bottom of a boat, right? Doesn't look like a bottom of a boat when it's got a big seam in the middle. <laughs> Uh, but that is very typical of English long wings. I actually have a pair of Church's long wings has the same exact uh, piece there. So, um, so very, very cool, um, different in the um, shape. The sole on this is open channel, um, has the, the Barker um, story engraved onto it. They do this with some of their higher end stuff. Um, you know, if you look at the waist, um, you know, the waist is a little bit narrower. Uh, the overall shape of the shoe is a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit longer. The toe is elongated. Okay, so the last shape is pretty different. This is more of a round toe. And candidly, I think this is really designed to look more like that. This, you know, is the, the many people would say that from a long wing perspective, this is the measure by which all others are judged. It's either the Alden 979 or 975 in Shell Cordovan, or the Allen Edmonds McNeil, which is uh, unfortunately no longer in production. Now this is the Allen Ed Edmonds McGregor. A lot of people will like this one because it's on the 65 last. So if you know how your shoes fit, like in a, Shell Cor in a, a Park Avenue, you'll know how they fit on this one. Also discontinued, uh, but still available from time to time. We're gonna talk about medallions here in a little bit, but in the meantime, I wanna look at what's different on this one and, and where you can see it. Now, one of the things that's really interesting about long wings is the way the peak on the wing is and how deep it is. So here you see that this one is, um, it comes in, it's about three inches from the top of the, of the shoe, right? Here, it's maybe three and a half, right? Here, it's like three, maybe, two and three quarters, but this part of the wing is very different. It's almost like a diamond tip where these are both pointed. And this has a little flap here, which shoe aficionados will go crazy about. I don't know why, but I've seen many, many posts about people complaining that the flap sla slaps over. It happens. So shoe people are shoe people and we all love what we love. Now this one has that little diamond cap here um, this one has the peak, okay, and that peak, like on a McNeil, actually is higher, so it's a little bit more peaked. And then on the TLB, it's very muted. It's hard to see in suede, so I'll lift it up here, okay, but it's just a standard peak, okay. Uh, we never didn't finish on the, uh, 
in the piece, but you can see there is a seam here on that, and there is no seam on the Allen Edmonds, okay? or the Alton. Right? So again, that's this is just Wisconsin shoe guy and his craziness uh, that I'm sharing with you. Um, as we look, the prototypical. This is not very rounded. It's not very sharp. No big arch. Uh, it's a really gradual blucher. Right? They have a nice gap here as well. Sometimes the gap is non-existent, and then you can't even tell whether it's a different piece. So I, I think that that's important. Um, and then you can see there's no seam. Now, the, the finishing, for an Alden, the finishing on this is really not what I would consider all that nice. Um, it has a contrast stitch here, which is really nice. There's absolutely no fudging. Uh, the edge here um, has the ridge down at the bottom, um, but no, nothing at the top. Candidly, they can probably use a little bit of um, uh, sanding, so I probably need to do that. And I don't know that I can really blame Alden for that. I mean, I've had these shoes for more than a year, so maybe that's on me. So um, uh, you can also see that there is a pink edge at the tongue, which is not visible on any of the other shoes. Okay. Um, let's look at the patches. This is the patch on the back of the Barker. Uh, a little off center, I might add. Okay. Center would be like over here. Um, on the Meerman, this is this is centered here. Kind of feels like there's a little bit of a twist in it. Now this is important to note, right? When they last the shoe, they pull this over. And so if they last it incorrectly, it can curve and that would make a factory second. That's something that happens on, on the more frequent side than you'd think. Uh, here is the Alden. Interesting, also off to the left here, uh, significantly. So uh, maybe not a factory second for Alden standards. Allen Edmonds, this one is centered. And then TLB, also a little bit, a little bit squirrely, I think. Yeah, so anywho, um, now let's talk about soles. Um, one of the reasons I don't have my um, churches here is because they have a rubber sole. Um, a city sole, and I'm not really a huge fan of that, but I did include the TLBs so that you have one rubber sole that we can look at. Um, here we have an open channel sole, okay, with the laser cuts in it, which is purely decorative, no functional value. This is the JR sole. It is blind stitched um, and uh, so forth. This is open channel Alden, Alden soles. Aldens are not available with JRs um, in the primary market. You'd have to have that done afterwards, and a lot of people do. This is the Allen Edmonds standard sole with their open channel. Allen Edmonds all and Alden don't do blind stitch at all. And this is TLB, and TLB has a slight bevel in the waist and also has open channel. Now TLB only does open channel on rubber soles. On all of their leather soles, uh, they do, um, I believe they do blind stitch. So something to think about there as well. So in the end, the Meerman, which is made in China, uh, in my mind, from a, a design and construction standpoint, holds its own with the Barkers made in England, the Aldens made in Massachusetts in the U.S., the um, Allen Edmonds made in Wisconsin, and the TLBs made in Majorca. Uh, from an overall quality perspective, the quality of the leather is quite nice, um, and the materials seem quite nice. The, what you can't tell is the insole and the shank, uh, which I would expect to be less on a Meerman than I would on the rest of them. Um, Alden, by the way, is the only shoe in my collection uh, where I cannot go through airport security with them on. I have to take them off because the metal shank is so big that it requires you to take it off. Um, but the, uh, the rest of them um, you can get through and they either use a metal shank or a wood shank, um, but that provides your, your arch support. So from the inner workings of the shoe, there's obviously a difference between the tiers, um, but from a exterior pur purpose, um, they're all pretty close. So let's talk last but not least about the medallion. Now, if you customize your shoes, which is sometimes possible, okay, uh, you can choose the medallion. And sometimes I'll choose a shoe just because of the medallion. I chose the McGregor just because I liked the Fleur de Lis medallion. Now the medallion on the Allen Edmonds and the um, Meerman are pretty darn close to the same. 
okay? It's basically an upside down fleur-de-lis cut off in half, okay? Uh, well, we're spread out at the bottom, but it's got the, it, this has five dots, this has three dots, uh, but the the circles on the other sides are the same. The, the mark in the middle is very similar. So all in all, very similar. This, as I said before, is a fleur-de-lis. This has a very similar medallion to the, uh, to the other one, but like all suede medallions, really, really hard to see. And then this has an entirely different medallion, right? Mostly pins versus large, and it looks more like a star. So um, just a uh, slight difference there. Again, that's a matter of aesthetic and a matter of choice, but it is something that you should look at when deciding on a long wing blucher. So that's it. Thank you all for watching and appreciate you taking the time.